talk about exam timing schedule. How did you buy and schedule the exams? And what we'll do is we'll we'll sort of we'll, we'll circle through everybody here to get to get their thoughts. But Kate, we'll start with you. Um, well, I really scheduled one at a time. Um, I think the biggest thing that I had to maneuver around was just deadlines and mm -hmm. life, um, as everybody does. So I tried to, you know, find a time where I could block out at least a month to prepare and would schedule them that way. Okay. And how about you, Megan? Um, so like I said, I scheduled all of my 5.0s when they came out with the incentives. Uh, which was in February, so I actually scheduled them all at once and took them all within a month. Um, however, given the time, I think that out, out of the 5.0, with the exception of the PPD and the, the two big ones, which I would take four weeks each to study, and the rest of them I would take two weeks. So say that again. You said you took all of them in one month. Is that right? That's correct. All right. I wouldn't recommend it except for when the incentive is on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very, very good. Um, all right. Uh, Joe, how about yourself? So I worked backwards from my when I knew I'd be done with AXP. So I took eight months back from when I'd be done with my uh, hours for AXP and scheduled them one by one. I made a schedule and then just, you know, spent a month on each. You know, beginning of the month, I'd buy the exam and just that was kind of my incentive as well. Spending two hundred bucks is a good way to get you get you moving. Got it. Okay. And then Courtney. I would schedule the next exam the day that I found out I passed the previous exam. And I think I'm a good example of someone who is a slower learner and a not a great test taker. And you know, everyone's intelligent in different ways and that is not my strength. And I thought I could never pass these exams. But once I found the rhythm of taking them every two months and putting in a hundred hours, I got into a good pattern of passing and got it all done. That's awesome. Well, you must've been a good enough um, test taker cause you're a licensed architect. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Right. Some people have to work harder than others. So. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Um, so we have, let's see, one at a time, all in one month, one month at a time. And then uh, if I got that right, Courtney, did you say you, you waited until you passed, right? Yeah. Okay. So I think that's awesome. I think <clears throat> this is a really great range from, I think this is probably maybe the fastest way to do it. And then this is, you know, certainly a common way to do it where you sort of kind of go along um, and then maybe these guys here are sort of, you know, kind of in between. I think um, these are some pretty common approaches that we see.